guys, you're welcome. Hope you guys are feeling good. My name is Bukobi Bike Kran. So, priest removes a clerical dress in church and converts to Islam. Wow, guys, let's watch. What is that that could make a priest to declare that he's no more a priest in the altar of God in the church before a large congregation and then declare that he accepted Islam of all religion? What would that be? In my previous videos, I've made a point blank that uh, for a priest to leave his faith and decide to join Islam might just be motivated by discovering the truth. If someone feels, okay, this area that I am, uh, this, the faith here is dying and I am not fulfilled, I can see grace at the other side and he decided to become a Muslim. It would be ordinary, it would be normal, but for a priest ordained the order of Melchizedek, for a priest who recognizes the power and strength of someone being a priest and the privileges that come with it, he leaves it and then get married and then, you know, becomes a Muslim is something completely unprecedented. So when we see videos like this, we immediately jump into it to see what happened. Wow. Hmm. Assalamu alaikum guys. Welcome to another episode of the Open Minded Thinker Show. Don't forget to be part of this great channel by liking and sharing this video so that others can see it. And you know, subscribing to help us grow from strength to strength. You're welcome. The story of this priest that we're about to review today is completely antithetical to what a priest ordinarily can do. And when things appear like this, we call it a miracle because it is a miracle for a Catholic priest with all the privileges that comes with that, leave it, let it go, and decide to become a Muslim of all religions. So that's exactly the story we are looking at today. It is a story of Ahmad Didat and a priest. Assalamu alaikum. Before I start saying what I have to say, if anybody wants refreshments, they're on my right at the back, they are available to you. Alhamdulillah, that means all praise is due to Allah. I am a revert. You may wonder what that is. Every child is born a Muslim. According to our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, every child born is born a Muslim. And so I too was born a Muslim. But sadly, my folks, my parents, who didn't know any better, taught me the faith of their fathers. They taught me Christianity. And I came to love the church that I belong to. I came to respect them. And I was raised up a Christian. And all my life, I cherished the thought that one day I would pray and work for the church. I would become a priest. I worked hard. I studied hard. And I eventually did go to Rome. But. As a young cleric, as a young seminarian, you question a great deal. You learn a lot of dogmas, you learn a lot of philosophies. And I began to question all the time about the oneness of God, the creator of this universe. But I still did not get enough information. I sometimes was a little bit of a headache to my professors, but alhamdulillah, they put up with me. On my return, after my ordination to the diaconate, I came back to South Africa, and one of my dearest friends was not at the airport to meet me. I was a little surprised and naturally disappointed. And when I arrived at the airport, my parents said they hadn't seen this fellow. His name was Carl. He was also going to become a priest in the Catholic Church. So I went around to see him and he told me that he and I could no longer be friends. So I said, what's preventing you, be, you and I becoming friends or remaining friends? He said, well, I'm no longer a Catholic. 
I said, fine, if you're no longer a Catholic, that shouldn't prevent us from bringing friends. All right, before he continues with that, I would just quickly want to bring you up to speed with what he's talked about this seminary. You know, when I tell people that uh, going through the seminary was actually preparing me for this thing I am doing today, for this dower that I am part of, and I'm proudly part of it, uh, they think I'm joking. The training of philosophy is another area that is somewhat confusing. What philosophy does to you is that it gives you the ability to question certain things. And I'm surprised it's part of it because when you start looking at Christianity from the back end, it will actually lead you from living Christianity. But if you're no longer a Catholic, what are you? He said, I'm a Muslim. I was stunned. I said, a Muslim? They're heathens. They don't believe in God. They don't believe in Christ. Peace be upon him. He said he wasn't prepared to fight with me. He wasn't prepared to argue with me. He said, go along to the people who have taught me Islam and talk to them. So I said, who's done this to you? He said, Ahmed Didat. I said, that does it. I've had enough of this man. I'm going to see him which I did. Mr. Didat and Mr. Vanker and Mr. Khan were in the office in Madras Arcade and I went along. But it was an encounter of the Didat kind. I hadn't anticipated such a man. And within a short period of time, he proved to me step by step that there isn't a trinity. He revealed to me the simplicity and beauty of Allah's word in the Holy Quran, and eventually one Juma, on Friday, which is our congregational day, I was a reciter of La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah, which means there is no object worthy of worship except Allah, and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is the messenger of Allah. Yes, um, the same thing happened to me some few months ago. I recited my shahada. And ever since, I've not felt the same. Um, I think it's the act of God. I think it is the will of God that it is so. And apparently, God is in control of everything that happens in one's destiny. It's really a very exclusive case for someone who has gone to the stage of diaconate ordination to leave the seminary because uh, Ahmadid had explained certain things to him. For the Christian mind, this is completely untenable, but for the mind that really understand the logic of truth, this is completely tenable. We think that people are converts. Nobody converts to Islam. I said originally, everyone is born Muslim. We just go off the Surat al mustaqim We go off the straight path. So I reverted back onto the path of Islam. It was difficult, very, very, very difficult. The community I had left were not too happy with me. My family persecuted me. But it's understood. I think if I had a son or a daughter and they were to revert to another religion or convert other than, uh, to another religion other than Islam, I would naturally be upset. But Alhamdulillah, I found a new life in Canada. I went to live in Canada for a time and started a new practice. I had new friends. I had this new religion. But I was destined to come back. But in all this time that I was away, I wasn't practicing this new religion, this Islam. I was a Muslim. I'd recited the Kalima, but I wasn't practicing it. But now, Alhamdulillah, I'm a five-time namazi. That means I make my salah five times a day. And I am full-time with the Islamic Propagation Center. The same, I would say, I am a missionary of Islam right now because I am doing the work of Allah. I'm doing a very strong da'wah right now. It is not matured, you know, but uh, we're really pushing very hard to create high-end vi videos for apparently the case of this da'wah. Guys, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate your patience. Well, 
to assist us, the only thing you can do is to share this video to a bunch of folks, you know, family and friends, and subscribe to help us grow. Until next time, assalamu alaikum. Wow, that was a great step, guys, for him to have that bold step to actually, you know, convert to Islam is something to accolade him for. That, that's a big, like, I just respect him for that because just imagine what he said. He said, you know, we are all Muslim, even though his parents were Christian, but he has this mindset that for everybody is a Muslim. That's, a, that's his own belief. And I just love how the whole journey started. It's just overwhelming. Like, I'm just, I was really shocked to hear that he actually, you know, a priest. We all know who a priest is. A priest is someone that actually dedicates his life to God. And they do not marry. You know, they spend their life, their time in church serving God. So, in now living Christianity for Islam, now he can marry, he can give birth, and that was a beautiful one. Beautiful story, beautiful journey. Let me know your thoughts concerning this issue. Let's keep this discussion going. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button for more. Like, share, comment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.